This video will review the idea of a watershed as part of chapter 9. So some basics first. Up and down are very different things than north, south, east, and west. We'll be dealing with both those concepts as we go through watersheds and you deal with rivers, so please know the difference. Up and down changes your elevation. North, south, east, and west changes your location. They are two separate, very different things. So a watershed is an area where all precipitation drains to a common location. Here's a simple map showing some watersheds. All the rain that falls in this green area will drain down through these rivers and out to the Atlantic Ocean. Same with this green area here. These rivers flow down this way to the Atlantic Ocean. This river here flows north down to the Atlantic Ocean. The yellow area is separated only because it shows the path of the Mississippi River. The Mississippi River collects water from all of these other rivers, we call those smaller rivers tributaries, and then it too feeds to the Atlantic Ocean. So in a lot of ways, this entire half of the country is part of the Atlantic Ocean's watershed. On the other side of the country, all the rivers here flow mostly westward to the Pacific Ocean. This is part of the Pacific Ocean's watershed. And this little area here, this is like Death Valley, the middle of Nevada. It's a desert. The water goes nowhere. So if we look at that exact same idea on a different map, now we've drawn lines to show the separations. Those lines are called divides. So we have the Great Divide, the Northern Divide, Eastern Divide. You don't really need to know them, memorize their names, but you need, you need to know that watersheds are separated by what are called divides. So if you look at a map of the United States with some mountains drawn where they are, you can see the reasons why. Flowing out of the mountains here, we have the big long Missouri River, right? Then it flows down the hill to the Atlantic through the Mississippi. It's all downhill, downhill, downhill. So you can see this area here in the center, the Great Plains, the Northern Plains. All that water is flowing down through the Mississippi and then out to the Atlantic Ocean. And you can see here on the East Coast, there'll be hundreds and hundreds of little rivers that flow out this side of the Appalachian Mountains and flow out to the Atlantic Ocean. All right, same exact thing, different map. I think you're getting the idea. Okay, and this shows that same map again. Here, the same idea broken into smaller areas. So you take that entire Mississippi watershed, you can start breaking into smaller ones. So this is the Missouri watershed and the Ohio River watershed, the Tennessee River watershed. When you look at New York, while all the water in New York is technically part of the Atlantic watershed, you can break that up into smaller ones. So we have uh, the Delaware, we, uh, Elmsford is right here, and we kind of run on a divide between the Atlantic Ocean and the Hudson River, which goes up this way. So all along these divided lines, you'd find hills, small mountains, some sort of ridge that would separate one divide one watershed from another. Okay, here's a map of New York. Uh, if you look at the dotted line here, you'll see the boundary of New York. That should help you see it a little better, right? And you can see all the rivers in New York. All of them head to the Atlantic Ocean in really two, uh, two different ways. They're either going to head through rivers, like the uh, Hudson. Okay, here's the Hudson River or the, say, the Delaware River, which sits over here, right? Or they're going to head into the Great Lakes, which feed through the St. Lawrence River and heads to the Atlantic Ocean northern, north and north way, north direction. Right? All the rain that falls in the Delaware area drains to the Hudson. So that's the Hudson River's watershed. And if you look at Westchester County in more detail, it has several watersheds. Elmsford sits right here this little town of Elmsford, and we are separated between the Bronx River's watershed, that river flows out this way to Long Island Sound, and um, streams like the Sawmill River, which feed out to the Hudson River. So the big divide is called the Continental Divide, threw some pictures in what you'd see along the, the Continental Divide with my friend Pete. 
there's, there's a mountain range here, so we can see, you can imagine rain falling on this side would flow down this hill and head to whatever stream is down here. And rain falling on this side of the mountain would go this way, right? And rain that falls in here is separated from rain that falls in this area. So location A and location B, uh, their rain is separated as soon as it falls. So if there were some sort of um, accident here, some terrible thing where it was a, you know, poisonous, that would be kind of constrained to this watershed. Water's not going to seep up and over the hill and, and impact the other watershed. These people could stay happy. Uh, this idea I was trying to show you that if you drew a line across the United States and plotted its profiles, you would see that there is um, the highest point somewhere in here in the Rocky Mountains, okay, and then it's all downhill from there. It's all downhill down to the middle of the Mississippi Basin, right, where the Mississippi River is. Right, that's a low point you find the Mississippi. The water's just flowing down the hill. So overall, the watershed is an area that drains to a common location. Watersheds can nest, can kind of be um, defined inside each other. And pollution really only affects one watershed. It doesn't travel uh, between them. Hope that information was helpful.